My story uh, of my cardiac surgery is a little different than uh, most people's. I uh, did not experience any pain, any hurts, or anything that would tell me that something is wrong with my body. If, if I had had a heart attack or if something had happened to me, I'm sure I would not be continuing my, my life as it is now if I uh, hadn't had that, that care that uh, Marion uh, Medical Center gave to me. There is no greater reward for hard work than seeing the results in the health of patients, community, and quality of life. For physicians and staff in the Marion Heart Center, excellence is the only option. And since the beginning, our patients have proven that. So what would you want for your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister? And what you want is you want them to get the same care or better care than they would get anywhere else in the country. Think about what would happen if you had a cardiac episode and you came or went to a hospital that didn't have a cardiac program. That would mean that you would have to be stabilized and transferred to another hospital that did have the full range of cardiac services. When it comes to a heart attack, time is muscle. There's reassurance in knowing that quality care is near. In 1993, Marion Medical Center brought cardiac care home to the Santa Maria Valley. Since its inception, patients have enjoyed Marion's proximity and commitment to quality care. We treat patients like they're our family. And the fact that we all send our family, our parents, to Marion Medical Center for their care, including their heart care, and particularly their heart care, it says a lot. And I think that that should reassure the community that, that, that we honestly believe that this is where the best care is. Whether it is diagnosis, intervention in a cath lab by a cardiologist with placements of stents or angioplasties, placements of pacemakers, or the need for cardiac surgery. We offer all those aspects here. By having these services at Married Medical Center, by having these services in this community, we have the ability to immediately intervene and provide the clinical services necessary and provide the best possible cardiac outcome for patients. A quality heart program is not just about one doctor or surgeon. It's about teamwork and the art of synergy, shaping separate facilities into one comprehensive program. I think that's actually what defines a great cardiac program, the team concept. It requires everybody in the hospital to have an acute sense of, of what it takes to make a, a good outcome in a heart patient. From entry to recovery, comprehensive cardiac care is a journey, a finely tuned process that varies from patient to patient. No heart condition is exactly the same, and with lives in the balance, precision is essential. From triage to diagnosis, procedure to rehabilitation, Marion Heart Center is comprehensive cardiac care. Because of the fact that I had no pains and, and something was wrong with me, I encourage uh, all the people I run into to uh, take some positive affirmative action to find out if they have a heart problem. Contrary to popular belief, most people discover they have heart disease in a doctor's office, not in the emergency room. A treadmill stress test will tell the story. Here we evaluate for people with chest pains and uh, a breathing problem with exercise. And once we see that there's a problem, we consider it electively, we consider it up. We don't have to rush into the thing today, tomorrow type of situation. This is resting, this is with exercise. Then we are comparing these two and see whether there's any change in his motion of the heart muscle. If your cardiologist finds heart disease early, you're one of the lucky ones. But if you do need emergency care, we're ready. Uh, we plan for it, it's a process. And so when someone comes in, it, not only is it not new, but it's well thought out. They pay attention to chest pain. <laughs> When it comes to a heart attack, every passing minute increases the chance for permanent heart damage. 
The sooner that you can open up the blood vessel that feeds the heart, the sooner oxygen gets to that muscle, the less muscle is lost during a heart attack. And not only does it save a life, but recovery and their long-term prognosis is better. Efficiency is the protocol in any ER, and it sets the stage for all departments in Marion's heart program. If they're experiencing a heart attack, um, several options are open to us. They get certain things routinely like aspirin, and they get nitroglycerin to try to open up their coronary arteries. And the thrombolytic therapy opens up the coronary arteries. It's a, it's a drug. A patient leaves the emergency room stable and prepared for further diagnosis in the cardiac catheterization lab. Here, a coronary angiogram determines the pathway for treatment. It's a procedure where we, uh, by the use of small specialized catheters, uh, uh, will make our way into the uh, coronary circulation and inject dye under x-ray and quickly be able to identify the problem. With the technology and expertise at Marion, bypass surgery is not always required. In fact, less than half of our cardiac cases ever reach the OR, largely due to medical advances in cardiac intervention. But to be able to actually in the midst of a crisis situation intervene. Uh, the early experiences with that was actually kind of a bit of a struggle before we had coronary stents. It was actually a very difficult procedure. But the beauty of it now is that I can take a patient like that, uh, bring them to my catheterization laboratory, and with greater than a 99% uh, confidence and assurance that within 15, 30 minutes, when I get a balloon and a stent and restore flow, I'm gonna have a patient now that's pink, that's breathing and lying comfortably and feeling good. So it is, it is amazing. Sometimes blockage is too extensive for a stent or angioplasty, and surgery is the only option. The baton is now passed to the cardiac surgical team. Heart bypass surgery restores the blood supply to the heart muscle by creating a detour, or bypass, around blockage in the coronary artery. There is a lot of redundancy in the human body, and we're able to take veins from the leg and, and occasionally arteries from the arm that uh, the patient will be able to do very well without. And these are the, the bypasses that we're able to use uh, to operate on the patient's heart. The patient is connected to a heart-lung machine, or bypass pump, to add oxygen to the blood while circulating through the body. The heart-lung machine will keep the patient's brain and other organs alive, and then we're able to stop the heart and safely support the patient while we're operating on the heart. Once surgery is complete and the heart-lung machine removed, the patient is taken into the critical care unit for extensive monitoring and post-surgical care. The next 48 hours are crucial to recovery, and a team of nurses and physicians watch your progress step by step. Yeah, you're in good hands when you're here because you're watched every minute, every second. What are the settings? We monitor their heart rhythm continuously at all times, and not just at the bedside, but also at the um, nurse's station, where we have a unit clerk sitting at all times who's trained to read their rhythms and to notify us if there are any changes. Print some strips up on this guy for me a minute. Please. They're there immediately when you need help and monitoring you, of course, at all times. You've got several monitors on, which they are watching like eagles. Within 24 hours, they are standing at the bedside and um, helped over to a chair. Some patients after 24 hours can actually walk to their new room, believe it or not. Only a short time after surgery, rehab nurses are walking patients through recovery. Our goal always is to get a patient strong enough that they can be independent when they're discharged. So we're constantly looking at ways to have the patient be more independent by walking in the hallway a little further each time, um, sitting up for their meals, getting involved in their self-care, and at the same time, we're monitoring their heart and how their heart reacts to this activity. In the early days of cardiac medicine, patient stays could be as long as two to three weeks. Today, most patients can return home within four to five days. Marion's state-of-the-art health and wellness center is one of the largest facilities of its kind on the Central Coast. 
For three months, the staff will coach patients through necessary changes in diet and lifestyle, critical to a healthy recovery. It's, it's normal to lose confidence and to uh, feel anxious. Cardiac rehab helps give that back, helps um, build that confidence or restore that confidence that was lost. As early as two weeks after surgery, patients are exercising, learning, and experiencing a new way of life. So we have them doing treadmills, arm exercises, and a lot of them come for an extended period of time because they enjoy the support that they get and they develop friendships here. I think it's very reassuring to have the monitor for that first period because you can realize that it's actually improving. Your, your heart rate and your blood pressure are better after the exercise, so that's kind of a reinforcement for you to keep doing it. Over a decade ago, a commitment was made to the community to develop a state-of-the-art heart program. At Marion Medical Center, we honor that commitment today. Touching hearts, touching lives. I had to uh, have the surgery to realize that I hadn't felt good before. One of those things where you didn't know you felt bad until you felt better. I'm happy to be alive. <laughs> and that they did what needed to be done. Uh, this morning I moved the lawn and I still play golf every week and um, I'm very active in other uh, activities. They're very, very nice people there and very, very well trained to do what they do. I, I just feel a lot better, honestly. But I think that we can really, uh, you know, continue to elevate and, and, and continue to be a star of the Central Cup. The personal gratification that I get from heart surgery comes in two different types. The first is that short-term effect where you walk into the operating room and you've truly made a difference in that person's life that day. The other one is knowing that, that those patients are doing well several years down the road.